This portion of the Cornerstone Task PD module will show you how to digitally administer the 8th grade assessment. Information on how to do this is divided into three parts. Part 1, creating your own digital copy of the Cornerstone Task. Part 2, administering the Cornerstone Task using Google Classroom. And Part 3, instructing students on how to upload their work to Google Classroom. Many teachers still choose to provide students with a hard copy of the Cornerstone Task so that they can continue to use their iPad without switching back and forth between screens while typing their response. You may find it's helpful to include a digital copy as well. Part 1. Creating your own digital copy of the Cornerstone Task This part of the tutorial explains how to make a copy of the Cornerstone Task to assign to students via Google Classroom. If you are unfamiliar with Google Classroom or need more information on how to create a Google Classroom, you can reference the WCPS online training module or contact Kevin Tressler prior to completing this tutorial. First, you want to open the Grade 8 Cornerstone task in Google Docs from Module 2, Foundations of Government. Please reference the Accessing and Exploring the Task video again if needed to access this document. Make your own copy of the document to share with students. To do this, we're going to go File and Make a Copy. From here, you can choose to change the name of your document and save it to your drive. Now, you've created your own copy of the Cornerstone task. Part 2, Administering the Cornerstone task using Google Classroom. Now that you have a copy of the Cornerstone task, it can be assigned to students digitally via Google Classroom. There are many other digital platforms available to assign work to students, and if you regularly use one of those in your classroom, feel free to continue administering the Cornerstone task with that platform. WCPS, however, provides training modules to support the use of Google Classroom, so if you're new to assigning work digitally, you may find more resources available for Google Classroom than anything else. If you're using Google Classroom, open a separate Internet tab and go to classroom.google.com. You will need to have classes already set up in order to continue, so if you haven't done that already, please pause the tutorial and do that now. When you have your classes created, choose a class to continue. So here we go, a green class is open here. And we are going to go down to the bottom right-hand corner to the plus sign, and we're going to create an assignment. At this point, you may include any instructions or additional information about the assignment for students. For example, you might want to indicate a due date or add a topic to make the assignment easier to find when students are searching in classroom. Please reference the teacher resource guide for suggestions on administration time. So, one tip that I like to do, I like to take the task instructions and copy them into the instructions in the class. Additionally, I like to create my own topic, which is Cornerstone. That way students and myself, I can reference it quickly when diving into Google Classroom. Next, we're going to upload the Cornerstone task to the assignment from Google Drive. First, we're going to click on the Google Drive icon, and we're going to use the search box to find the Cornerstone task that we just made a copy of. Um, or you can pull it from your Recent tab, or you can pull it from your Drive. So when I made a copy of my Cornerstone task, I put it in this folder. Here it is, Grade 8 Cornerstone task, and we're going to add it to the assignment. So now we have all students participating in the Cornerstone task. The instructions are here. The document is attached. At the top of the assignment box, you will see the option to add this assignment to multiple classes or to certain students. This is a very helpful option if you are differentiating instruction for particular students. Um, additionally, you want to use the drop-down arrow right here to arrange how your students will access the assignment. Choose Make a Copy for Each Student, and this way when they open the assignment, it will automatically create their own copy of the Cornerstone task with their name attached to it. Once you are finished marking your selections, click the Assign or, or Schedule for when you want the assignment to post, and now they will have a digital copy of the Cornerstone task. So from your perspective, in your Google Classroom, this is what it will look like. For Part 3, Uploading Student Assignments, we are now looking at the Google Classroom that I created through the lens of a student. So, the work has been assigned. The student clicks on the task, 
And when they open the document, they now have their own copy of the 8th grade cornerstone task. Ideally, they'll be able to use this, mark this up. It is their copy. It is no one else's. Now, if they want to type their response, they can hit Create and go to Docs. And here it'll, again, give the student another copy. This one will be blank. And from here, they'll be able to type in their response to the task. If students are unfamiliar with uploading or submitting an, an assignment on Google Classroom, reference the WCPS online training module created for this purpose or contact Kevin Tressler. So they've done their cornerstone task, they've answered, they've argued their case. Now we get to the point where they turn it in. You'll notice that their copy of the cornerstone task that they made is attached. Additionally, their response is attached. They can also add photos from Google Drive. They can also create um, any other resources that they want to to convey their knowledge of, uh, of the skills needed to complete the task. So once they get done that, they click on Turn In, they confirm, and here we go. The, it has been marked as done. When the student returns to their screen, they'll see that their cornerstone task is completed. So to review, you can use Google Classroom as a way to share the cornerstone task with your students. You can digitally share a copy of the cornerstone task, and you can make it so that when each student opens the document, a, an, a, an original copy is created for them. Uh, they can also use Google Classroom to submit their work. If you have any questions, please contact your content specialist or your department leader.